Hey guys, welcome back to Skyrim. So, since the last part, I did some more off-camera stuff. Um, I went ahead and thought that I should take care of some things that are just kind of like, go do this, and you know, then you'll get rewarded for it later. So, I basically went to all these that said like, kill the leader of this place, you know, of this camp, or you know, things like that. And so I have a lot of people to go back to and be like, hey, I killed that per, you know, that bandit leader, you know, give me my reward. And I'm partly doing that so I can get, work my way towards uh, becoming the Thane of these holds, like this one here. Because later on when you do things like if we continue with the Dark Brotherhood and Thieves Guild stuff, you're going to be doing some things that the guards will be like, hey, stop that. But if you are the Thane of the hold that you're in when you commit those uh, acts, you can be able to pull that authority and be like, hey, I'm the Thane of this place. And they'll be like, oh, I'm sorry, Thane. And they'll leave you alone. So you can pull that authority to get yourself out of like having to pay off a bounty or go to jail. So I thought I'll work my way towards getting closer to that stuff. But for now, we're going to go ahead and head back to Falkreath, which I have to go back there and talk to the Jarl there anyway. But we'll deal with that later. There's also something else here in Falkreath that uh, a guard was like, Hey, you should go talk to this person about something. And I don't know if it's going to trigger here on my way to the sanctuary. But if it does, then maybe we'll do it uh, inadvertently. But that's kind of part of the experience of an Elder Scrolls game. You're go just going down the road Whether and all of a sudden, this thing guard, happens. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. What were all the guards just doing here at the gateway? And all of a sudden they're running back in. What were they doing? I don't know. <laughs> Seemed a bit odd. This should be right over here. We're not going to get too much into this right now. We're just kind of like going inside and you know and then we'll probably go to the next companion quest aha there it is now that's a door what is the music of life ow that hurt my ears ouch <sighs> silence my brother That was a little loud. Speak with Astrid. She's gonna be like, oh, you're part of the Thieves Guild too, huh? <laughs> Look at her. Just staying there, just waiting for me. Hello, Astrid. Ah, at last. I hope you found the place all right. <laughs> so well, what happens now? What happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. This I'm joining a lot of families. Our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. Ugh. <laughs> uh. I mean, they say the most important thing is family, and I'm joining a lot of families. Huh. <laughs> that remain silent is a constant option in, the, in this quest line, and I, I really like it. I'm honored to be part of your family. Our family, my dearest. Our family. Together, <laughs> united as one, the Dark Brotherhood can accomplish anything. But you must be anxious to get to work. I'm arranging a job, but need a bit more time. For now, go see Nazir. He's got several smaller contracts. Soon, the Night hmm. Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, oh, but one last thing. A welcome home present. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. May it serve you well in all your... endeavors. By the way, I got this, uh, oh, with friends like these. Join the Dark Brotherhood. So, by the way, I did receive, uh, this little note 
We'll check that armor in a moment. What do you know, Astrid? I got this... I found this note on someone earlier who said that you that you guys had to kill me? Well, let that, let that slide. Let that be bygones be bygones. Alright. The Shrouded Armor. Increases poison resistance by 50%. 53 armor weighs weigh 7. It's the same stats as uh, the Thieves' Guild armor. Wearer is muffled and moves silently. Bows do 20% more damage. Backstab does double damage. Hmm. Looks like it's the same stats. Oh, no, no, no. The the gloves and boots of the uh, Thieves' Guild are two more armor points than the other. And they weigh less. So this weighs less and it provides a little bit more armor. But this is not bad, though. I like the uh, wearer is muffled. So it is a pretty good light armor set. Be sure and introduce yourself to your new family members. They're all very eager to meet you. I'm Hold afraid on. I don't have a primary contract for you yet. I just want to ask you a few things. First off, who is the, the unholy Night matron, the shrouded lady, the mistress of the void? She goes by many names. Ages past, Sithis gave a woman five children. She killed them to win his favor, thus becoming the Night Mother. If you believe that sort of thing. Today, she's... Well, she's a skeleton. An ancient corpse. But more importantly, a corpse that's been brought to this sanctuary by her keeper. So, she's yes. being brought here. A few months ago, I received word from the Night Mother's keeper that he had arrived in Skyrim from Cyrodiil. The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was destroyed. A result of the chaos caused by the war with the Thalmor. That forced a relocation. I don't know where the Keeper has been these past few months, but I recently received another letter. He's bringing the Night Mother here. Soon. And where do the contracts come from? used to come, come from, from the Night Mother. Potential clients would perform the Black Sacrament, and she would hear their prayers. The Night what Mother I would communicate this the boy to the listener, doing. who would then dispatch a speaker to arrange the contract with the client. But that was a long time ago. There hasn't been a listener in years. Not since Cyrodiil was overrun in the war with the Thalmor. But people don't know that, so they still perform the ritual. And we eventually hear about it. When someone wants us, we find out. All right. Are there any rules that I Used should be aware to be, of? The Dark Brotherhood was bound by five tenets, but we stopped following those years ago. All those huh. rules, all that discipline, and look where the Dark Brotherhood ended up. We're the last of our kind, and we live the way we see fit. Bottom line, respect your family. Do that, and everything else will fall into place. I have a feeling I know where this is going. Where she's running things here, but she doesn't care about the rules that they used to follow. Yeah, you can kind of see where this is going to go. So what can you tell me about this yourself? This sanctuary has been my entire life since I was a young woman. That's when I first discovered my, shall we call it, aptitude for elimination. I had an uncle, you see. He made certain unwanted advances. So I killed Yikes. him. And liked it. Then I killed again, and liked it even more, and so on. I was recruited by the Dark Brotherhood, and have been here ever since. I met my husband, Arnbjorn, rose to leadership, and now, here we are. What if I get caught killing someone? Try not to, but I do realize it's sometimes not that easy. You may want to make a statement. Or a contract may require a public killing. Murder is obviously a very serious crime, and a very high bounty will be put on your head in the hold where the act was committed. You can run, obviously, but you'll still have a price on your head. If a guard attacks, you can attempt to yield by sheathing your weapon. If the guard accepts, you can serve your time in a cell or pay your bounty. We've all gone through it. We do what we must to survive. But, 
There is another option. Some members of the Thieves' Guild in Riften can get their bounties erased for a price. Something to think about. Oh, don't worry. I'm already part of that group. Be sure and introduce yourself to your new family members. They're all very eager to meet you. Mm-hmm. Wait, hold on. What was this? I'm a... The Night Mother's Truth. If you want to read more on this, go ahead and pause. Wait, I don't have a primary contract for you yet. <laughs> again, again. Do the part where he tries to buy you some candy. Ooh, we have some blacksmiths okay, in here. Okay, wait. Here we go. Oh, you're such a pretty little girl. Would the sweetie like a sweetie? Oh yes, how about some chocolate? Oh yes, please, kind sir. My mom and Is that a word wall? Alone, and I'm so very hungry. I know a There's a word of power I can learn here. This alley. Oh yeah, very good, very good. Mine is dark down here. Oh, but you're so beautiful, such a lovely smile. Your teeth! No! <laughs> so bad, bad, but you are so wicked. What about you, Festus? How did that last contract turn out? Oh, yes, please, old man. Regale us with your tales of wizardry. Ah, oh, the young and stupid. Always mocking the experienced and brilliant. My contract went very well, I'll have you know. Tried a new spell. Little something I've been working on in my spare time. Came this close to turning that priest inside out. <laughs> Damned messy. And what of your latest, Arnbjorn? Something about a Khajiit. Merchant, was it? Oh, a big doggy chasing a little kitty. How adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing he's a werewolf, Arnbjorn? If she, based on that comment she just made? I am not adorable. It was not funny, and he wasn't a merchant. He was a Khajiit monk, a master of the Whispering Fang style. But now he's dead, and I have a new loincloth. <laughs> <laughs> I like how they're just kind of exchanging stories of contracts they fulfilled. Uh, this so is you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. I've heard quite a bit about you. <laughs> uh, it's a pleasure Save to meet Save the niceties for now. I have no intention of Jeez. getting invested in someone who may be dead tomorrow. If you're still Oops. breathing in a few weeks, I'm sure we'll be the best of friends. Huh. Astrid said you'd have some work with Did me. she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available, to be completed at your leisure. Apparently a lot of people are you know, are asking for, to have other people killed is. In, this, in Skyrim. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. Alright. What uh, can you tell me about yourself? Well, I'm Redguard, as I'm sure you've noticed. Though not like most of my kind you'll find in Skyrim. That's for damn sure. I am a huh. child of Hammerfell, born of the sands of the mighty Alakir. In that great desert, blood is a shade of crimson I can scarce describe. My past is long and storied, and not altogether proud. But the Dark Brotherhood saved me from myself, and I have never looked back. Alright, I'm ready for the first well, set of contracts. Let's get started. I've got three available right now. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, 
and Baytilde, a mine boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. All right. You've got people to kill, my friend. Best get to it. Hello, Arnbjorn. Well, Bjorn. well, it's raw meat. Oh, my beautiful wife has told me all about you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that a, is there a bit of jealousy I'm hearing? You know I'll nothing give about you a me. Week before you end up dead in a ditch. Ha! <laughs> Jokes on you. Clearly, none of you know that I'm Look, the Dovakin. Like trying to get to know me. Don't. I don't like you, and I never will. It's nothing personal, but my wife trusts you, and I trust her judgment. So you can't be all bad. Here's all you need to know. I'm a werewolf. I like killing things. I love Astrid. I hate annoying people. And the color blue gives me a headache. Huh. Stay safe. Well, okay, then. Kill. Marked for death. Interesting shout. Speak and let your voice herald doom as an opponent's armor and life force are weakened. That's a really good shout. Just wait till I get the other two words for that. Oh, well, hello, Welcome, fellow Argonian. Welcome to our sanctuary. You have made the right choice joining us, I assure you. All right, it's nice to meet you, uh... You just trust in Astrid, follow her orders, and you'll do fine here. What can you Once tell me about I yourself? was a shadow scale, an assassin in service to the King of Black Marsh, trained by the Dark Brotherhood since the day of my hatching. Ah, but that was a lifetime ago. Today, I am the last of my kind. My order is extinct. Now, I happily serve Astrid in this sanctuary. I am a trained killer. And once again, have been given purpose. Life is good. Huh. Right then. Yeah, right then. Let's see if I can go find the other members. Uh. 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 New brother, may I offer my most sincere welcome to our family? Yes, yes, you're the new family member. Let's make this easy. Consider me the cranky old uncle nobody talks to. You go your way, I'll go mine. Well, okay then. Babette? Is that there right? you are. Astrid's told me all about you. Heard she pulled the old choose your victim gag with you. Huh, I love that one. Uh, nice to meet you, You're going you, to Sabbath? love it here. We have a lot of fun. And we look out for each other, just like any family. Uh, what can you tell me I'm about yourself? I'm just a little girl. The Dark Brotherhood killed my mama and papa, and then they took me captive. Please, please help me. <laughs> Rather convincing, don't you think? In truth, I'm no more a little girl than you are. I was once, of course. 300 years ago. Vampirism tends to keep one remarkably. Ah, she's a vampire. A 300 year old vampire little girl. Have fun. Who apparently has a pet spider. Ugh. I've never understood people who want spiders for pets. Kill it with fire, I say. Ooh, nice. It updated my map. That's exactly what I needed. Is there anything I have that can disenchant? Nothing. You know what? Maybe I should change my armor to fit it. To show them that I am now a part of this family. There we go. Look at that. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's go speak with uh, the other two. Hello, Festus. Talk to Babette about potions. She's the creepy little girl. Can't miss her. Oh, I, I already did. What can you <laughs> tell me about yourself? I like to say I was born with a wand in my hand. 
Well, not literally. You could see how painful that would have been for Mother. Huh. But I was a prodigy, casting simple spells by one, completing complex incantations by three, resurrecting corpses by seven. Ha! Ah! So he's what? When I was what, 13, I accidentally burned down the family home. Bit of lightning gone awry. Oh, but soon after, I mastered my gifts completely. I went on to hmm. teach at the college. Left after two years. Too simple. Huh. Too safe. None of them truly understood the glory of the destruction school. Huh. Remember, fireballs. You can never go wrong. Huh. So I've heard. I've heard... Uh, the perks in the destruction uh, skill tree is pretty awesome later on. So he's about destruction magic and I'm possibly necromancy. Now what? Oh, sorry Does to wake you up, come to us all? But... Is it not a certainty? I am therefore honored to be Doom's Herald, to play some part in a being's inevitable end. Okay. Uh, what can you what tell me about yourself? curious question. Well... I enjoy moonlit nights, taking long walks on the beach, knitting, and unicorns. In fact, okay, I, I once it. took a seaside stroll on a moonlit night and discovered a unicorn, which I proceeded to stab in the throat with a crochet needle. I'm a woman of refined <laughs> yet simple tastes. Okay, Kill well fine. and often. Obviously, she doesn't care. Oh, is this my bed? No, apparently I can just keep... I can just uh, sleep in whatever bed. Huh, how about that? Well, I think that's everybody. Let's take a look around this place. The tenants. Oh, but they're burnt. I can't read them. Wait, can you actually read... No, I can't. The text is too burnt and small and pixely. There's got to be something around here that can tell me what the five tenants were. I want to know what the rules were that Astrid is, like, choosing to purposely ignore. Nightshade. Just a blank paper. Ooh, nice. Another skill book. Leveled up again. Very nice. Uh, more health. Yeah, since he was talking about that, let's go ahead and do that. up some other stuff later on. This could be really nice to do if I'm going to be uh, doing a lot of uh, one-handed attacks from behind. Ooh. Oh, this is like a window. You can see right out there. That's where Armbjorn is. That's cool. this way oh wait a minute oh wait no I never I already took care of that quest I was wondering about that quest where you got to bring a mammoth tusk to Isolde in Whiterun I couldn't remember if I had already done it I, I did. I just forgot. Rolls of paper. Ink. This is a messed up room. I wouldn't be surprised if they would say this is my room. Here you go, new blood. Here's here's your room. Enjoy it. <laughs> hmm. 
Be Nothing sure else? and introduce right. yourself to your new family members. I did. They're I did. Eager to meet you. Hold on. Oh yeah, this is definitely uh, Astrid and uh, Armdorn's room. <gasps> she has one of the stones. Two twenty-four. You know, I think I remember the first time I played this. I got 23, and then I couldn't find the 24th one, because I think there was, like, a bug or, you know, that would not let me get it. Oh, it was so frustrating. Sithis. Alteration. Ooh. Shrouded. Oh, this is, uh, so instead of the, uh, armor set I just got, I could get this one, which is more so for, like, if you are a spellcaster. Ooh, Shrouded Cowl, maskless. Shrouded Hood. Yeah, because you can see there's no armor on there. But, like, I'm, I think they have, like, uh, buffs to spellcasting. So if you take the route that Festus did, then you're able to... Get a nice armor set for that. Alright. Nice introduction there to the Dark Brotherhood. Now let's see if we can head back to... Come on. Head back to Falkreath and turn in this... Uh, little task to the Jarl, who I think should then give me the permission to get some land, because there was an expansion that, or a DLC that came out for this called, I think it was, what was it? Hold on, hold on. No, not mods, my bad. My bad, didn't mean to select that. I'm trying to back out of this. It won't let me. I have to let it load. My bad, guys. I'm sorry. Back. It, uh, oh, it doesn't let me see it? Oh. I guess I can only check um, in the main menu. Hearthwood or something. Where it's basically like you can get to build your own houses. Good to see you. Finally, someone useful is around. Teach them to stop paying me. Here, you deserve a reward for your service. You know what? I like you. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in Falkreath Hold. Talk to my steward if you're interested. There's is is room else in my court for a new thane. It's an honorary title, mainly. But there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. You help my people, and I'll make you my fane. On your way, then. Hey, if it helps me get out Come of trouble again here in Falkreath, then I'm, then I'm okay with that. Alright, now, where's that steward? I protect the him? Jarl, whoever that might be. Nope. <laughs> Got to push your guy out of the way. Hello? I'm the steward here. I serve under Jarl Sidgear and Jarl Dengear before him. There's no house available, but I could sell you a fine piece of land where you could build your own house. Five thousand gold. Wish. I'll think about it. May wisdom I have eight thousand gold. Path. What's this book over here? The Wisp Mother. Always gotta check books, see if they give you a buff to a, uh, a spell or something.
How nice that he's like, yeah, go ahead and take the gold. What's the hurry? Out of my way. Okay. All right, now hold on. Who was it here that I need to speak to? Lod? Where is he? He's in here. Did you see a hound on the road? Fine, strong creature that's been wandering near town. The guard at the gate mentioned I asked the dog. gate guards to look for him. I can't afford to chase him down, but could use a fierce, loyal beast to keep me company. If you were willing to retrieve him for me, I'd give you some fresh meat to attract him out on the road. Well, I could be convinced oh, to catch him. It's a smart man to demand something up front for his work. Some gold now, and some when I have my dog. Here's the meat. Fresh meat. Find the dog outside Falkreath. Not sure if I want to go ahead and get into this right now, though. All right. Fort down there. I could actually go back to Helgen where this game all began. How about that? Hmm. Oh, that was revealed because I read that book. Nice. More stuff got revealed for me. Very nice. All right. Oh, I do need to go back here. Collect bounty. Yep. Well... Yep, I got some stuff to collect, and when we come back, I'll put that uh, one quest off, and we'll go back and do this. Stay tuned.